Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is module 7 of third grade. Please get your name on here first. Cut out the unit squares at the bottom of the page. Then use them to make rectangles for each given number of unit squares. Complete the charts to show how many rectangles you can make for each given number of unit squares. You might not use all the spaces in each chart. So that's kind of a lot to read and figure out, but these are the squares. You see the scissors down here. So cut these squares out and you're going to play with them like puzzle pieces. And you're going to make arrays uh, for rectangles. So for example, for uh, this first one here, it says number of unit squares. So think about what kind of, what can you do to make unit squares, if you've got six of those squares, how many different rectangles can you make? And I'm going to draw them. I'm going to draw, like for examples, I'm going to show draw them over here. So for if, with only six squares, you can make one that's three rows of two. So it's what it's two wide. and three long. You can make one that's one that's six rows of one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh well, actually length it should be one. Length is usually the longer of the two numbers. So if it's a 1 by 6, then the length is going to be 6 and the width will be 1. And 1, 2, 3, that's it. Those are the factor pairs. Basically, we're thinking about factor pairs for, for these numbers. That's what you're going to end up making. So that, that's a 2 by 3 because that's 2 times 3. It's going to be all they all going to have 6 squares, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, and that's all of them. So there's a case where you're not going to use every space in that chart. And I made two rectangles. Now the number of unit squares is seven. How many rectangles can you make with that? Well, I don't know if, if you've talked about it in class, but seven is a prime number because the only factor pairs that make seven it's just one and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the only one you can make is one wide and seven long. It's the only rectangle you can make with seven squares. One rectangle. And if you have eight squares, you can have Two by four. Of course, you can have one by eight. Let me clean these up so I can have some more room. And let me see, are there any others? It's one, two, so that's it. So that's two rectangles and now for nine unit squares you can make of course one by nine and you can't do anything with <clears throat> two rows of two but rows of three Three rows of three you can make with nine squares. And there's no other factor pairs for nine because four and five won't work. And then the others, there's nothing, there's nothing else you can do to make nine, uh, to make a rectangle with nine squares. So that's two. 
and then for 10, of course, there's 1, 1 by 10, and for 2, you can have rows of 2. Make a 10 frame, 2 by 5, and that's it. Two rectangles, and with 11, 11 is one of those prime numbers, just like 7. The only way to make a rectangle with 11 is. like that it's a 1 by 11 one rectangle now it says create a line plot with the data you collected in problem 1 so Here's our line plot. We've got a title already here. Number of rectangles made with unit squares. You don't have to underline that. I'm just highlighting that so you can see what I'm talking about. Number of rectangles made with unit squares. So we what what numbers did we have? Uh, six. Number of rectangles made with unit squares. Starting with six. That title is kind of a lousy title. Um, so we had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Try to make these evenly spaced. I'm going to have to start over again. there and an X is one rectangle this really should be um, oh so it says down here number of unit squares used okay so that's the label so for six we had two in fact these are all twos except for seven and eleven Try and for a line plot, the idea is you want to make sure you start all of your X's in the same place so that like they look like they're all in the same row in, a, in an array. And be careful that you make them all the same size. Now it's not going to make a huge difference on something like this because the highest number of X's we have is two, but it's easy to get sloppy with this if you rush it you can make a big X like that and it looks like it's the same as two X's because it's just as tall as up there so just be careful with your X's and make sure that they're evenly spaced and that they're about the same size just take your time doesn't take that much longer to get it to look right and it's a graph really so it's important to make it look right because that's what graphs are for Luke looks at the line plot and says that all odd numbers of unit squares produce only one rectangle do you agree why or why not well what are the odd numbers here 7 9 and 11 well the 9 has 2 doesn't it so I disagree nine has two rectangles how many X's would you plot for four unit squares 
explain how you know well how many uh, different rectangles could you make for four you could have and this is in this picture is going to be your explanation by the way you can have one by four you could have two by two and that's it you can't do anything with uh, three with three anything so it's two There are only two rectangles you can make. With four squares, you could also say that um, that that there are only two factor pairs for four. That would work too.